Hello everyone, welcome back to Datto Looks Like a Moron, episode 984. Today we're talking about weapon crafting, specifically weapon crafting materials. Starting on March 22nd, the caps for legendary materials will be going up to 1,000. They are currently 250, and neutral element will be going to 10,000. It is currently 8,500. In season 17, Ruinous, Adroit, Mutable, Drowned, and Energetic Elements, so all of the legendary materials, will be removed from the game and only neutral elements will remain. I assume the Drowned and Resonant Alloy will also be remaining in the game because Bungie didn't say anything about that. So, why is this happening? Well, for starters, player feedback, but also... Initially, before the launch of the expansion, Bungie had a currency per trait perk. So if you wanted Kill Clip, you needed the Kill Clip currency, for lack of a better term. This meant that every single perk had a currency, which is how you say, maybe not the best idea. There were also technical issues with this. Bungie doesn't really elaborate on the technical side of things. So instead, they decided to make four different groups of perks that all share a currency, but that decreased interest in going after a specific trait element. A Senan Alloy was added after condensing down all of these other materials, and Bungie just wasn't really able to solve the issues between all of the different currencies before the launch of the feature. Certain elements also became redundant or conflicted with other materials. So, ultimately, Bungie is just pulling the plug on the situation and massively simplifying everything. Bungie is also looking at feedback regarding more control over unlocking weapon patterns, since right now you just kind of need to hope that you get a deep sight version of a crafted weapon multiple times, which can be very, very frustrating. Reshaping costs for people who want to experiment more often, and just generally watch how the system plays out in a more simplified form. Now before we get into all of that, I got some quick calendar notes here. Val the Disciple weekly challenges go live on March 22nd, with Master Mode coming on April 19th. Trials Lab Freelance is coming back on April 8th, May 6th, and May 20th. In my opinion, that is the best time to play Trials as a solo player, so watch out for those weekends. Guardian Games is coming back on May 3rd for three weeks and GM Nightfalls will be launching on April 5th. Okay, so let's talk. I'm sure plenty of you looking at me like I'm a big moron idiot face for my video a few days ago. And here's what I'll say. I still believe in what I said in the video. And one of the, if not the main message of the video was just spend your currency, lol, stop hoarding it. Which I still think holds moderately true. I think people need to break out of the hoarding mindset. That's not to say the system was perfect, but the conversation at the time seemed to be very focused on materials, so that is what I wanted to focus on. I realized part of the issue as well was not wanting the feeling of wasting legendary materials when you wanted neutral element, so you'd suck out all the neutral element, but you'd be capped on legendary materials, so you'd feel like you're wasting them and people didn't like that. Bungie just flat out admitting that they had one system that they were going to use, only to scrap it before the launch, switch it around, and then ultimately just giving up on it so quickly is pretty interesting. Maybe a little humbling as well. You know, feels like maybe a lesson learned from Weapon Sunsetting, where they didn't want to stick to something that not a lot of people were enjoying, just for the sake of having the system there. Although this felt like a combination of both the community not liking it and also Bungie not liking how it ended up rolling out. I don't feel like these changes are 100% because of community feedback, but it's certainly a big chunk. And I'll give praise to Bungie for just saying, screw it, dude, it's not really working how we want. The whole system's just fakakta. Let's just scrap it and simplify it down and let's just move on which does feel like something Bungie would have eventually done. Bungie does ultimately end up simplifying a bunch of these systems down the road, or at least doing a big quality of life improvement pass on them. Armor mods, for example, that was a big one. Weapon crafting just took a detour straight to it in one season. And I did foresee some sort of tuning to weapon crafting down the road. 
I just didn't think it would happen this soon, but no one really knew the extent of the situation on Bungie's side of things. These changes are for the best for the community, given all of their feedback. As much as I can try to convince people to just spend your money, that doesn't really matter because people are going to hoard and they're going to feel stressed about it and they don't want to feel stressed playing a video game. I still think people are going to hoard anyway if Bungie doesn't adjust how much neutral element you get from a completed deep sight weapon, because I think neutral element is a far bigger deal than the legendary materials, and you know that people are going to hoard 10,000 cap divided by 200 per gun equals 50 guns in their vault that are completed to make sure that they can instantly refill their neutral element to the cap at any given moment. Ball's in Bungie's court on that one, I guess. Now, making the experience less restrictive is rarely going to be a bad thing. Looking at you, literally all armor mods and the acquisition of them. I think my thought process was that Bungie wanted crafting to be some level of grindy or difficult because the ultimate prize is a perfectly crafted gun. And once you have a perfectly crafted gun, you're done with that chase. They maybe wanted to have that be not so easy in order to extend the life of the feature or because a perfectly rolled weapon shouldn't be easy to get. You know, the best weapons in the game shouldn't be easy to get. I didn't mind having it take a while because I wasn't going to mind having something to interact with over the course of multiple seasons and because I knew that once I crafted the gun with the perk roll that I wanted, I was probably never going to swap it ever again. Most of them I flat out probably wasn't even going to use again, I would just craft it for the sake of having it ready. I also think about how if god roll weapons are easily crafted, what the motivation would be in trying to get other guns at all. Granted, right now, there's still plenty of motivation, since you can't craft every single gun in the game, but I don't feel like we should be able to. It's still good to have some non-crafted guns in the game, because otherwise we might run into a situation from way back at Destiny 2's launch. There would be no reason to go out and play stuff to get new guns when you already have them perfect, or in the case of Destiny 2's launch, when you have the only roll of a gun. I guess other than, you know, getting the patterns. Not to mention that lotto drops are still fun to have, even if it is frustrating to be looking for a gun that you want after the 50th time that it's dropped, or in the case of the raid, hasn't dropped. I will say that the experience was definitely dulled for people who wanted to experiment more often than maybe I would. A good amount of people were maybe anticipating this very free-flowing experience from the beginning, literally just swapping perks around as they see fit. You don't even have to go to a vendor, you just swap it right on the gun. So going from that idea in their head to what we have right now was probably a little tough to see. I'm not sure if Bungie is planning on adjusting costs uh, in a significant way in addition to the removal of currencies. And there's probably a whole conversation to have on currency caps, but it's not one uh, that I'm going to have here. Either way, literally doesn't matter what I say anymore because Bungie scrapped the whole thing. That was just some extra rambling on my end. Lamau, Datto, you're stupid and dumb and also bad. We were right. You're a moron.